Many Valorant players reported that after installing Valorant, when they try to launch the game, the game doesn't open. If you are also facing the same issue and Valorant is not working on your Windows 11 PC, then this video will help you fix the problem. I'll be showing several troubleshooting methods. You have to follow them one by one until the issue is resolved. So let's dive in. Fix 1. Enable Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. As for Windows 11, Valorant cannot run on unsupported Windows 11 PCs if they don't have Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. To check the Secure Boot status, go to the System Information page. Here, it should show that the Secure Boot state is on. To check TPM status, search for tpm.msc. If the TPM module exists on your PC and is enabled, it will show the TPM is ready for use. If the Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 are disabled on your PC, you can enable them from your BIOS or UEFI settings. Fix 2. Close all the Riot background processes. Sometimes Valorant doesn't launch if a Riot process is not running properly. To fix this issue, you can close all the Riot related processes and see if your issue is fixed. Riot processes usually have a Valorant or Riot logo. Click each one and choose End Task. If this solves your problem, congratulations. If not, you can move on to the next fix. Fix three. Check the VGC service status. Valorant Game Coordinator or VGC is an important Valorant service that might be running in the background for the game to launch smoothly. You can check the status of this service from the service window. You might need to start the service if it's not already enabled and running. Double click on the VGC service. Change the startup type to automatic and click start button. Click apply and okay to exit the service window. Fix 4. Run Valorant as an administrator. There is a possibility that some permission issues create this problem. Running Valorant as an administrator can fix this issue. To do so, right-click on the Valorant shortcut on your desktop and select Run as administrator. If this works, you can set this game to always run with admin rights. To do so, right-click it and choose Properties. Under the compatibility tab, check the box for run this program as an administrator. Fix 5. Run Valorant in compatibility mode. If due to Windows update or for any other reasons, the Valorant game client compatibility issue appears leading to the Riot client not opening Valorant, you can try to run Valorant in compatibility mode to fix this issue. Right click Valorant and choose properties. Under the compatibility tab, tick the box "Run this program in compatibility mode." If you are running Windows 10 or 11, choose Windows 8. Moreover, Windows full screen optimizations feature can cause problems with compatibility, so make sure the box for disable full screen optimization is checked. If the problem persists, please jump to the next method. Fix 6. Temporarily disable antivirus and firewall. If you are seeing an error telling you Valorant is unable to start correctly or couldn't install a required dependency, then maybe it's your antivirus that's triggering the issue. In case, you can temporarily disable your antivirus and see how things go. You can also disable Windows Firewall and check if it brings any changes. Some Valorant players have confirmed disabling antivirus and firewall can fix the game not starting issue. However, I don't recommend leaving antivirus and firewall shields permanently disabled. Turn the antivirus and firewall back on when you are not playing Valorant. Fix 7. Set up a new system variable for Valorant. You can try to set up a new system variable for Valorant to fix the error. To do that, press the Windows plus R keys at the same time to open the run dialog box. Type sysdm.cpl and press enter to open the system properties screen. Navigate to the advanced tab and click the environment variables option. Under the system variables part, click new. In the pop-up window, enter the following text. 
Now click OK. Fix it. Delete Valorant config and logs folder. Some Valorant users reported an error that reads, this game is not available on your operating system. This error doesn't seem to be system related since players are getting it even on Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you are seeing this error, there's one fix you can try. First, end the Valorant process from the task manager. Press Win plus R to invoke the run box. Then type this and press enter. Delete all the files in the config and logs folder. Temporary files in the Windows Stem folder may also lead to conflicts and hinder Valorant from launching. Press Win plus R again, type percentage temp percentage and hit enter. Here, select all files and folders and delete them. After that, restart your PC and check if Valorant launches now. Fix 9. Update graphics driver. Sometimes the Valorant game gets stuck on a black screen when launching on a Windows PC. A corrupted or outdated graphics card driver can cause this problem. Make sure your graphics driver is up to date. Or you can also download the latest version of your graphics card driver from its official website and then reinstall it on your PC. Also, if you have two graphics card on your system, you have to make sure that Valorant is using the dedicated graphics card. For example, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can set Valorant to always use the high performance NVIDIA processor instead of the integrated one. When you have updated the graphics driver, launch Valorant and see if you still have the error. Fix 10. Update Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. Valorant relies on Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable to function correctly. Corrupted or missing files in MS Visual C++ can cause problems like Valorant not opening. So, repairing or reinstalling Microsoft Visual C++ will ensure that Valorant has all the necessary components it requires. So, what can you do is download the latest package of VC++ from Microsoft official download page and reinstall it on your system. After installing, check if Valorant can open or run properly. Fix 11. Repair game files. Sometimes corrupted game files can cause this issue. Repairing the game files may fix this problem. To repair the game files, open Riot Client. Click the profile icon. Select settings. Then Valorant. Now click on Repair. Fix 12. Reinstall Valorant. If you have tried all of these fixes but still Valorant is not opening at all, then the last fix you can try is to reinstall the Valorant game. Just exit the Vanguard and Riot client. Then open the apps page from settings and uninstall the Valorant game. After that, go to the official website and download the latest version of the Valorant installer. Then reinstall it on your PC. If all the methods fail and you are still struggling with Valorant not opening issues, Riot Games support team can provide personalized assistance. They can help you troubleshoot and resolve unique issues specific to your system. Visit Riot Games support website support.riotgames.com and create a support ticket. Describe your issue in detail and follow their guidance. They'll help you run Valorant on your computer. If nothing worked for you, but fixing the Valorant not opening issue is very important for you as a gamer, 
Then the final step you have to take is to reset your system and reinstall the latest Windows operating system. However, before taking this drastic measure, make sure you take a backup of your important files and game data. Guys, if you are stuck with Valorant not opening, there could be various reasons behind it which we have discussed in this video. Understanding the issues is the first step towards solving them. I've shown 12 fixes for you to try. I'll hope they'll help you resolve the problem.